Hi everyone, this is Peter. Today I want to introduce is the uh, Sony 4K flagship camera, which is the uh, uh, PMW F55. So uh, on my review, I will separate into two parts. First, we will be talking about very basic light, maybe a setting for the uh, F55, and then what's the difference in between F5 and F55, and then and the part and the other parts because uh, I have uh, I work with. Um, one cameraman and then going out to doing some tests of the F55 and then I want to share the uh, some of the uh, um, the the experience for for the shoots and then how maybe uh, I feel with this camera at the same time I was talking about like maybe some internal setting for the maybe 4K RAW and also for the uh, for the uh, XAVC and also maybe what kind of light software you can edit onto uh, the footage. So, okay, so let's talk about the F55 first. So, you, everyone will know that like um, Sony launched the FF55 at the same time they launched another camera called F5. So, what's the difference in between each other? If you are, uh, okay, if you find the F3 mount is in silver color, so this is a F55 and the black color is F5. So other than the outlook, because they are exactly the same, other than the outlook, they are huge difference in between each other. And then I think there is a four big difference in between the F5 and F55. First one is the color space. For the F55, the color space is based on F65, but the F5 is based on improved F3. So that means the color space for F55 will be better than the F5. The other big difference is the global shutter. So if you know, uh, uh, global shutter is actually just like all the CMOS sensor for the camcorder, you will find out when you shooting with a very fast light straight line and then maybe at the end they will just like maybe uh, just bend and then twist and then just because this is what how the CMOS sensor is scanning the uh, image. This is what we call the uh, gel effect. But um, the F55 has built in a global shutter, so that means all these issues have been totally solved. But for F5, sorry, it's still, it's still there, but uh, they have doing some improvement. It's not as bad as some like DSLR, yeah, because it's a more, more professional camera. And then the third big difference is the, um, is the, um, the frame rate. For the F55, the, uh, the you can go to 240 film per second on the 4K RAW. And for the F5, as I remember, it just only goes for 60 for 4K, 4K RAW. So it's a huge difference when you do the slow motions. But at this moment, because the one that I got here is only version 1.0, so they cannot even give you one, they cannot give you any, any like maybe slow motion setting. But on September, Based on Sony information, on September, they will launch a, new, a free firmware for the F55, which you can do 120 frames per second, 4K RAW. And then for on December this year, they will launch another free firmware, which is 240 frames per second, 4K RAW. So that is the third big difference. The fourth big difference is actually the uh, codec. If you haven't put on the um, XAV, uh, AXS R4, um, R5, the uh, 4K RAW recorder. F55, you can use the S by S Propus card to record a 4K XAVC format. And uh, for the F5, <coughs> you can only do the uh, uh, 2K XAVC format. So you will see the difference, just like the huge difference in between like F5 and F55. If you're looking for 4K solutions, I think maybe it seems that the F55 is give you a more um, maybe a more functions or maybe a, a more professional way to, to get into that. But the F5 can give you a more affordable way to uh, to shoot still shoot on 4K RAW. So okay, so this is the difference in between F5 and F55. So for the body itself, what I'm now set up is the uh, new uh, series of the PL lens from Sony. So they are now built in is more metal rather than a very plastic for the last versions. And then the size is, uh, they have improved it. All six lenses in same size, same diameter, and also is same aperture. So the aperture is T2.0. 
And uh, for the body itself, you see there is a side uh, LCD here, and then it shows all the time codes, uh, uh, color temperature, uh, shutter speeds, uh, and all the informations. And then there is, um, and then it's uh, for the operations because the menu is very simple. I think you no need to spend a lot of time to just like get know about all the functions that you have to know. And then uh, I will talk about this on the next review. And um, for the back part here. <coughs> This is the XAAXS R5 um, 4K RAW recorder. So it's stick. It just looks like maybe when you stick on the uh, F5 or F55, it just looks like a one piece rather than maybe you have to just put on some like external recorder, maybe which you still have to consider how I mount it with the camera. So that's why I really like the design. So for the other side, so you will see this is maybe the connector out to the uh, to the monitor to give you all the video and also all the information on this. And then you will got like the uh, uh, the four 3G SDI output to give you to record onto uh, a 4K footage onto maybe some recorder like maybe AJA keyboard quad or something or other recorder. And uh, you definitely still got like the TC, the gen log and all the informations and. Um, this part is, uh, I think, is quite is quite um, interesting for me because if you uh, you if you use this as a full uh, is a film uh, feature film operation, so most likely you will have like maybe a video and audio separate, and then for these situations you can take this away, and then from the cam from the camera body because you you don't need to get any like audio source in it. But if you just like maybe last time when I was well, with a cameraman, just only me and also him, and then to do some shoots and then with some audios, this is I think this is actually a necessary shot for maybe a parts for us too. Okay, so talking I've just finished talking about like maybe uh, the the setting or uh, I'm setting now, but I'm talking uh, now I'm want to talking about the media. So if you're talking about the media, there will be two main media you have to consider to to get it. First is the S by S card, but now Sony is also introduced a S by S Pro Plus card. So what's the difference in between each other? The S by S Pro Plus card, the requirement is getting much higher speed. So that means if you want to record the XAVC HD, 2K or 4K, you must get a S by S Pro Plus card. Your old S by S card is only can record MPEG2 format only. And um, and uh, for the other for the other media you have to consider to get it is the SS card because if you got the uh, 4K raw recorder and then this is the S the SS card so the SS card now they offer is the uh, 512 gig uh, SS card is an SSD recorder so I think maybe it is actually very very tough media and uh, for me I feel very solid about that. And um, the recording time for this for 4K RAW is about like 56 minutes, so it's almost an hour. And um, the other thing I want to talk about before I maybe I move into the uh, the menu is uh, I do like one of the functions from the F5 F55 is for example now I'm I'm going to shoot the 4K RAW, and then uh, at the same time you can actually record. Uh, XAVC HD or MPEG2 media and then with the S by S Pro Plus card which what's the benefit for this is for example I'm using the 2011 uh, MacBook Pro to uh, to edit the uh, XAVC or the 4K RAW and then when I using when I you will, you will know that 4K RAW is a very big and also you have a very high performance camera uh, not camera uh, computer to operate or edit it so for my situations, you will find out, okay, if I chef all the footage, original for 4K RAW, and then my backboard pro will be go to that. So for these situations, I can put on an HD format, which is high, higher compressed, and then I put it as a proxy, get the rough cut, get everything sorted out, and then at the end, I put the raw footage back onto timeline, get it to the color grading, and then everything is fine. So my, my computer uh, requirement is getting much less and smooth than I just like strap the uh, the 4K roll at the very first beginning. So this is maybe I I think this is a, the, um, the the first part I want to introduce about the F5 and F55 difference and of the basic uh, maybe uh, the advantage of this camera. So on the next part 
I will showing you the uh, the menu setting, and also I will showing you some photo, uh, the video, and the uh, and uh, sharing some of my experience with this camera for go out for shoots.